what's going on YouTube? I'm E and this is Simply Put Sense. This is going to be my first starting lineup video and I'm really interested in seeing how this goes. You know, I hope you guys appreciate it. I'm going to try to do a little something different though. I'm going to do it using baseball, not basketball. Everybody does basketball, and I just wanted to flip it, especially seeing as though the Cleveland Indians and the Cubs have made it to the World Series. I'm a Yankees fan, so you know. But whatever. And I wanted to basically put out my starting lineups in a baseball format. So, hope you guys appreciate it. So, I guess I'll let you know what's what. My leadoff man for the fall, the fragrance that I will be wearing mostly during the daytime, is none other than Jimmy Choo Man and Tom's. This is a fragrance that's really easy to wear during the day, very, very appealing. It's a fresh scent, but I don't think it's too generic. I really do find the fragrance really, really pleasant. It also gets me a lot of compliments. And unlike the original Jimmy Choo, it actually lasts over six hours. Go figure. My cleanup hitter, or the fragrance that I'll be wearing mostly at nights this fall, is a fragrance from the house of Thierry Mugler, and the fragrance is Pure Hava. Tobacco, beautiful, sweet, long-lasting, compliment-getting, sophisticated, I mean, so many different words you can use that are positive to describe this fragrance. It would be really hard to argue that it's not in the top three within the Amen Flankers, and it perfectly matches a fall evening. So that is going to definitely be my cleanup hitter for the fall and my starting lineup, my night scent, Pure Havan by Thierry Mugler or Thierry Mugler. Me. <laughs> Thierry Mugler. That's how you do it, right? That's how you do it. The designated hitter isn't called upon to do as much as a normal position player, but you really want them to come through in the clutch. That's why I consider the designated hitter position akin to my daring scent. The designated hitter or my daring fall fragrance is none other than Ragba Wood Intense by Latafa. Talk about a bomb. This scent lasts so long that honestly, when I wear this fragrance, I have to make sure that the next scents that reach my skin can complement it. Like seriously, like in other words, like when I wear Ragba Wood Intense, I have to make sure that for instance, 24 gold goes on the next day. Because if not, my fragrance is gonna be all wonked out by that wood intense remnant. And boy, is it intense. 12 hours, amazing sillage, amazing projection. This is not a scent for the faint of heart. This is not a scent for your workplace. <laughs> Whew, this scent is a lot. And it's very spicy. It's very, very woody. Slight vanilla. It has a lot of the Ragba DNA in it, but it's just taking the woods to the next level. Definitely my daring scent of the fall. Like, it's, it's, whew, it's a lot, it's a lot. Your ace pitcher is pretty much the best pitcher on your team. This is the guy who has the best arm, who you can depend on to shut the other team down. And pretty much, guys, I consider this my formal fragrance. Because when I wear a scent for formal situations, I want my fragrance to just absolutely shut it down. And my ace pitcher is none other than Guerlain's Heritage. Mm -hmm. It's a mature scent, but you're supposed to wear a mature scent to a formal event. You know, you're not supposed to go fun and playful at a formal event. I think formal events are more serious 
and uh, Eritage fits that seriousness beautifully. It's classy, it lasts seven, eight hours on my skin. It's not a beast, but it's beautifully composed. The blend is beautiful. It's just an amazing fragrance, and I believe that it's a timeless fragrance. I believe that it'll probably be a relevant scent even 10 more years from today. So, Eritage by Galen for sure is going to be my ace pitcher for formal situations this fall. Now your setup man, this is of course going to be my close encounter scent. And why? Well, the setup man basically sets things up. <laughs> and in a close encounter situation, that's what you want your fragrance to do. Set you up. Or at least help set everything up. This scent is from the house of Rosasi and the fragrance is Dot Reg. Guys, I love this fragrance so much. It's tonka, it's sweet, it's very sensual, it's warm, it's a cozy scent. It has very strong projection, very strong sillage, and longevity is very good too, six, seven hours. It pushes in the cold weather, but it's also extremely inviting. I think this scent has an alluring smell to it, and it's very sexy from what I'm told. So, I would go with Darej for those close encounter situations this fall, among other fragrances, but I'll be choosing this one a lot more than most. Darej smells exactly like Valentino V, a scent known for being sexy to a lot of women. I think Darej follows in Valentino V's footsteps in terms of that sensual sexiness. So, with that, my setup man fragrance is the one and only Darej Rosasi. Good stuff, guys. Amazing stuff. So, my closer fragrance is going to be that scent that I will concentrate wears during my work scenarios. And the fragrance that I choose for this situation is Bellamy Vetiver by Hermes. Man, this scent is an amazing work fragrance. Beautiful. I mean, beautiful. It reminds me of, I know this sounds crazy, guys, but it reminds me of tea. It like reminds me of something I would smell in a tea bag. I'm not joking. It lasts for about six, seven hours on my skin, which is not bad considering it's an Hermes fragrance from Jean-Claude Elena, one of the masters of freshies. It's inoffensive. It's very masculine, but nothing too macho and over the top. It's got a very, very beautiful leather note in it that is extremely modern compared to the original. The original Bellamy by Hermes is a little bit dated compared to this. I think this is Bellamy for the modern man and it works beautifully. Bellamy Vetiver, guys, my closer work fragrance for the fall, for sure. Bellamy Vetiver by Hermes. Mm -mm. And last but not least, the manager. This is gonna be my signature scent. I'm most likely gonna sneak this fragrance in other positions within my starting lineup. <laughs> you might see this scent substitute for my day scents, could be one of my night scents, could be one of my close encounter scents, this could be one of my daring scents. Yeah, this could definitely be a fragrance that I will pretty much wear as much as I possibly can this fall. And the fragrance is Queer de Milano by Duo Fragrances. Yes, guys, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know some of you ding, ding, ding. Just knocking my video down, but it's okay. I can take it. It's my practices. And they're not done. Blah, blah. So I was prepared to get a lot of hate for this pick. And I know I'm going to, but I really don't care because this is my fall starting lineup. This is gonna be fragrances that I'm gonna be wearing. I'm not suggesting you guys wear this. This is what I'm gonna be wearing. So if people are gonna down my video because of something that I'm gonna wear, well, they're gonna do it. So I can't stop them, can't hate on that. It is what it is. But I'm going to let you guys know what fragrances that I'll be wearing. This is gonna be for sure my signature scent for the fall. And guys, just so you don't think that I've been purchased or bought, Ta -da. 
You see that right there? That right there is my receipt. Yes, guys, I purchased this fragrance. Yeah. So you can't say, oh, you're just putting us in in your video because they're giving you free bottles. No, a $45 bottle was very affordable. As you can see, I could afford it. And yet, I still like the scent. <laughs> I don't want to be accused of being in the tank for any brand, because I'm not. So, yeah guys, that's my starting lineup for fall 2016. I really thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I know I'm gonna get some hate. I know I'm gonna get some love, but hey, it is what it is. It comes with the territory. You're not gonna make everyone happy. Some people are gonna just hate your taste, and I'm accepting that. I'll, I'll accept that, but. I stand by these scents. These are great fragrances for me, and I'll be wearing them hard this fall, among other things. Of course, I gotta keep that rotation moving, you know? If I wanna get all those fragrances that I own in, you know, I got a lot of stuff, so gotta make sure that I put everything in the rotation so that I can get through some bottles, you know? I think I have enough for my entire lifetime. I wanna thank you so much for watching, guys. Please comment down below. What are the scents you're gonna be wearing the most this fall? I'm interested, I'm curious, guys. Please share your thoughts down below. Please like this video if you appreciated it. And of course, subscribe if you haven't. I would definitely be grateful for your support, my friends. So with that, guys, I'm E, and this is Simply Put Sense. And I'm Simply, O-U-T, peace.